Duncan Native Duncan Music. Duncan. Alright gems, we are back. This is the front of my bullet journal. As you can see, um, we've been through some things in 2020. Like, she is all beat up. Like, she just, yeah. Alright guys, so when you open it, I added um, a little pocket here and I... You know, my stamps and things like that. I automatically came with a index um, page, which this one came out. Um, so I just taped it in the beginning because it had all my pages in it. So you could tell I kind of, I taped it back together. Um, that was my key. I never used my key. I never used this. When I started bullet journaling because i started bullet journal bullet journaling um when i was in class so that's what that was for and then i had my assignment log my the points and then the grades that i got for them um but i never finished and i passed with um honors uh yeah so Graduated with honors, whatever. Um, I had my first mood tracker, and as you can see, um, I didn't keep up with this. I think I actually might redo um, a mood tracker. This was actually pretty dope. Um, I don't know. I feel like this this would be really really good for me because of I'm um. I'm just tracking how I feel. So, um, I think I will bring this back. But this is the only time I did it and I didn't even finish. So, um, <laughs> yo, I don't even, I don't even know. Like, I started tracking my monthly and as you can see, August was crazy. July into August. Um, it got really basic. My journal started out really basic. I had, you know, what was going on in August, um, pretty much. Um, I started doing a weekly thing, and as you could see, uh, actually, this was my assignment. This was my assignment, um... I can't remember what I put on this page, but I definitely covered something up. And then I started writing notes to myself. And again, I didn't finish. Um, I started tracking bills. Again, <laughs> I didn't finish. My spending log. Look at my spending log. It's so empty. And as you can see, I cannot. It, my writing is terrible. I don't care. But, um, yeah. I started tracking my steps, and as you can see, I didn't finish. <laughs> my grades, like, yeah. Um, week two, homework, assignments, all that good stuff. Um, yep, this was pretty. Um, these are my, f um, I'm very in tune with my, um, spiritual self. As you can see, we definitely lit some sage and our candles to clear our space and things like that. So having my horoscope and seeing, um, how everyday things and, um, the universe affects me is very important. Um, and then we moved into 2020. So I legit didn't do much except for I started it for school just trying to keep track of school and assignments is why I started it just you know keeping track of how I felt during school and you could see the stress within my body grocery shopping and you could tell I skipped from 2020 all the way to May. May was the first calendar that I did. And 
That was when I graduated. Like, tw the beginning of 2020 was so fucking horrible, y'all. I got sick. If you go back to the videos, um, you'll see that I had bronchitis. Babe had, um, uh, pneumonia or something like that. Um, so, I took some classes. It was just, yeah. My birthday, my 28th birthday. And then I was dieting. Um, this was actually pretty good. Um, I enjoyed uh, being able to look at this and just eat healthy. I felt so good when I was eating healthy. Like, I felt really good. I might have to print these out again. Because it was really nice to see what I could eat, what I couldn't eat, and just have that. So I actually might print these again. Because I definitely, I want to get back into dieting and just being a healthier me. Y'all don't understand. Okay, so then this is when I actually took it a little more seriously as far as planning out themes and things like that. I cannot draw. Like, here was July. This, this, I don't know how I even did this. It was with a highlighter and water. And I really enjoyed making this and just doing this setup. It was my first time actually really doing a themed setup and I enjoyed it. Um, and then I, July, uh, I skipped from June, from May to July, and then we had August. Now, this was supposed to be a, um, a, um, Lisa Frank theme, and I thought this was really cute. It was just, you know, very, very basic. Um, attention. Weight loss journey. I actually lost weight. I looked really good, and, um, I think I want to add another weight loss log. I feel like bringing the weight loss log back especially if I want to do my um, healthy eating I definitely feel like I would bring this back um and then I did um, a weekly um, thing I started doing weekly spreads so I really enjoyed using the stickers because like I said I cannot draw and it was just a healthy reminder for me to um, keep a to-do list and to keep track of how much water I was drinking and just to remind myself to work out. Um, same thing, you know, my water intake was horrible. Did I even drink water that day? Just writing myself daily notes and just making sure that I ate was um, the best part of all of this it was just it made sure that I was keeping myself healthy and on track I just had so much fun creating these weekly spreads and just you know and then I started adding um the most memorable photos from the newspaper on what was going on like 2020 was shitty for all of us it, everywhere so um, I just started keeping little clippings from the newspaper, and then I actually came up with my very, very first real theme. Now, it's all taped up because I got it wet, and it started falling apart. So, here was September, and September was so busy. Like, September was so busy for me. I just realized that between hair and makeup classes and shows and nail appointments like September was super busy we had a Black Lives Matter mural here and they actually decided to remove it we no longer have it um so having this here um is a memory to show that um I mean the times we live in the fact that this has to be a thing um, says a lot and I really enjoyed this thing like putting this together like I don't know how I did it it just like 
Live your greatest hits. Your greatest hits is living your life. Like this, I stand by this. Like I am so very unapologetic and living my greatest hit is means everything. Um, yeah. And after doing this theme, um, I, it kind of like took over my obsession with cutting clippings out of the newspaper. So I took a class. Y'all like my little brow? Look at that brow. Okay. I learned how to do, um, mature makeup from somebody else other than school. Hmm. Um, yeah, the clipping hunts. Okay. Hey. Come on now. <laughs> yep. See, the clippings just kind of got out of hand. 2020. And October hit. I did not do my weekly things in October um that was a lot of fun to do and the themes just came out so beautiful so kindness reap happiness my supplies list I ordered all that stuff didn't need it um I did a giveaway um which I just recently did that giveaway and it didn't go as planned. Um, I planned so many looks, didn't do those. And then I was going to do the spooky cutie challenge, but I didn't get to. It was just like I said, this you could just tell by the journal that it was just a mess. And then um, the rest of the clippings. And that is when they removed our Black Lives Matter mural. Isn't that crazy? Hmm. Budget. I put a spell on you. November. Y'all, I really enjoyed doing this theme. The colors were so beautiful, like hippie vibes, okay? Y'all already see how I came in here. Like, oh, we were planning to go to Tennessee um, for Thanksgiving in November. We actually did, had a lot of fun. Um, but, yeah, this theme just gave me very much... Um, Hocus Pocus hippie vibes and that's what it gave. I just want to show you all. Mm -hmm. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Baby, the love and protection Make me a selection Show you the way love's supposed to be Baby, you should let me love you Love you, love you Love you, 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 love you,